Hi darlings, thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. And today I have for you a flip through of my Heavenly Host August scripture writing journal. This is the journal that I use to write all my notes in scripture writing. And I just wanted to do a final flip through because I know that I set this up here on this channel and I said I would give you guys a flip through of the final look. So let's dig in. So for By the Well for God, the August kit was the heavenly host you guys this one was super super good um i am not surprised that it sold out this will be restocking in the spring if you're looking for it um but lately these kits have been selling out every month so this is such a good one to do some deeper study on a topic that is not seen too much in the bible journaling world so starting off here i have a blank traveler's notebook that i embellished a little and you guys saw that and in here um in the first page i usually put something it's usually the backing of one of the sticker sheets but i actually didn't even get to do that um but the inside is all done so here we have day number one which was common creatures um, just did some scripture writing these are the different verses that were discussed in day number one and then I use the tile alphas to um, list out those days um, I love adding the tile alphas because it adds a little bit of color and um, just in the middle of the pages and so you'll see that some days are um, just scripture writing and then I have like a note here at the end and so there's tons of space but let's say on day number two there's a little bit more writing so day two was worship God only and here you're seeing a mix of notes and and actual um, scriptures. Um, I love these little stickers that came with the freebie this month. Um, actually, these came with the coordinating stickers and they see cross-reference. And I love that because I was able to add some of the verses that weren't necessarily listed in the devotional, but that I can reference to if I need to dig a little bit deeper for the verse that I had written out already. Okay, so day three was mortal and immortal. Again, I did some scripture writing. And then this last half here, I'm actually doing some word study. We were looking at the difference between the word messengers and winds, both in the Hebrew and Greek translation. And again, using that cross-reference. You'll also see sometimes I add extra stickers. I know you saw me add those mini stickers up there at the top that are an add-on. And sometimes you'll see some extra stickers as well. Day four is torment. And this is one of those days that's really full. Um, and I just had enough space for it. And so I have verses. I have notes. I also have quotes from the actual devotional. And um, this was written by Tom. So you'll see that it says Tom Hicks. Day five was just men. Again, a mix a, of the word study up here, which was actually done for you within the devotional. There were days that I did my own word studies, but there are days that um, there's a word study broken down within the devotional. So I went ahead and put that in there. I have some notes as well, some scripture writing, and then a note to wrap it all up. I love adding notes just to clarify what I'm looking at within the scriptures. Okay, so we have day six. This is fear not. A mix of the verses of notes and also some more scripture. I'm sorry, word study. And there is tons of word study this month. But as you can see, this was more of a shorter day. Day seven. So on day seven, we are looking at um, the seraphims. And this is looking at those visions in Isaiah. And what I did here was I did a breakdown of the description of the seraphims and also a word study. So the verse that we can find them in, the word study of what seraphim means, and then a breakdown of that description. So I have um, the six wings and what each of them were for. Then over here, I have the description of the winged angelic beings from Ezekiel from that vision. And then I have a breakdown of all of the 
characteristics of those creatures. Um, and of course, a breakdown also of the faces. And here I have this cross reference because later on in chapter 10, we see it again. Um, so I loved doing this type of notes as well. So it doesn't always need to be scripture writing. It doesn't always need to be a word study, but also when you need to break things down just to understand it better, um, that this is a good way to do that in here. Okay, we have day eight, which is cherubim. And day eight is a look at the angelic beings that were described in, Eze in Ezekiel, but this is specifically towards the cherubims. Okay, and so we have the different breakdowns here. Um, I love adding not just where I'm finding it, but also if it's described in a certain verse, I added that here. That's just help when I go back through these journals, it helps me find things easier. And um, then we're looking at the cherubim on the mercy seat and also in the Garden of Eden. And I wrote those scriptures out. Again, some more um, stickers here and some of that faux washi that came with the clear sticker add-ons. Okay, God of Order. Um, I actually loved, love this day. Um, this is a day where we're looking at how the different rankings are seen in scripture. So we have Michael the Archangel. We also saw the commander of the Lord's army in Joshua. Uh, we also see the host of the army of the Lord and God is a God of order. I love this day. I actually um, did a page with all the army of the Lord and that broken down. Um, with all these different verses, I did a beautiful Bible journaling page doing that. I will link it below in case you missed it. Dionysus, Dionysus is also day 10. And here we're looking at um, basically him and how he was then, um, his identity was basically taken. And so we see how he break he broke down the different celestial hierarchy. And um, this was really interesting. I actually had tons of questions about this and I was able to kind of check in with Tom and pick his brain a little bit about this day. But again, I have just notes for here and only a couple of scriptures because this was more about some background and about um, the book. And I love how we were able to see um, the original versus the uh, the then prosudo or pseudo Dionysius. Day 11 was Angel of the Lord, and this one is really, really good as well. Um, we are looking at three different stories here, the story of Hagar, the story of Gideon, and also the story of the three Hebrew boys in the book of Daniel. And I love seeing this and breaking this down in this way. So I had like a little wing next to the one and I used these little label stickers. These came in the freebie. And then I added the verse where we can find the angel of the Lord and also how he is described there. This was one of my favorite days the adverse the adversary okay adversary i don't know why i said that in such a weird way sorry <laughs> the adversary was day 12. so this is one of those days usually as you can see in all the previous days i usually can fit my notes and scripture writing within the two pages which is makes it easy for setup but there are some days and it doesn't happen very often but when i do have too many notes or um i have lots to write. All I do is add a sticky note like I did here. So um, in day 12, I did tons of scripture writing and breaking down and there was lots of scripture and I wanted to get it all here. I even added this cross-reference sticker here with some extra verses, but I did have some extra notes. So what I did was I just took a sticky note and I added the extra notes that I had and added it right in here. You could do a tip in. You can even do um, like a, maybe you can do an index card and just washi tape it in. Uh, but this is another way that after you've done your setup, you can add some more notes. And I personally prefer to do my setup beforehand because it just makes it easier when I'm going to sit down and study. But this is one way that you could do it as well. 
Then we have day 13, the devil made me do it. This one was rich with scripture and I like the breakdown um, between actually it being satanic influences and sometimes things that we are to blame. And so I went ahead and um, broke all of these things down that we find within that day 13. And I also added a sticky note here um, about a truth that we can always go back to whenever we feel defeated. And the last day was day 14. Now, day 14 was good as well. And we talk about guardian angels and we talk about um, this being a problem with it, it being a concept within the Christian community because we can then tr maybe learn to trust on that instead of trusting God. And we have to remember that our trust and our safety and our protection comes from God. So we need to be careful with the concept of guardian angels. And so I love all of this. And I love this quote right here. Our promise lies not in this life, but in the life to come. Love that. Did some scripture writing. And then I added this little note card here. Um, and that was it. That wrapped up. As you can see, I have still two more pages. Um, Sometimes I end this with prayers. Sometimes I just leave it as is and I just leave it as the study journal. But um, that is it. If you did not see the setup for this journal, I will have that um, below for you so you can check it out. But I am so thankful that I did this little journal because I have all of my notes in one place. And even though I did some Bible journaling pages as well, um, I'm able to find all the actual study portion in here so I don't have to flip through uh, different Bibles to find those things. So love that I did that. If you are new here, I hope you consider subscribing. Hit the like button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And thank you so much for joining me each and every video, darlings. God bless. Bye.